I am returning to visit this book. Uh, this is College Physics by Kimball, uh, and I showed uh, briefly showed this before. But if you look over here, uh, it was the last date was 1935. So this is this is old textbook, obviously, almost 100 years. Uh, actually, wow. Okay, so I I thought I would look a little bit more deeply into a particular section and just compare it to what we uh, teach now. And so I picked work energy. Work energy is one of my uh, favorite topics because it's it's one of those topics where you can look at a different book and see how they and how they do things, and it gives me a good evaluation of it. Because it's work energy is hard, and uh, it's hard work. That was a joke, and especially for lower level books, it's hard to explain everything at that level. So let's just see what they do here. Okay, uh, and it's weird. That how this starts off. It doesn't really have, it's in this mechanics chapter and it's just numbered into different like, um, you know, cards, card 64, 65, and this is, it's kind of weird. Work is first defined, it gives these two examples of a man digging a ditch, a horse drawing a load, and a carpenter supporting a temporary load, temporarily the end of a beam. May an ordinary speech be said to be working. So if you're just holding something and not moving, uh, we would we would say that's work, right? But then it says, but there's a difference between these cases uh, and its motion. And it defines work as the amount is measured as a product of the force by the distance through which the body moves along a line of action of the force. This, I mean, this is how we would define work, right? There's, there's two ways. If I was in a calculus-based class, I would say work is, if the, let's do the, the algebra ways for it algebra way first would be the force magnitude times the displacement delta r times the cosine of the angle between them so if I have a block like this and I push down that way and I move it this way delta r that's f then this is the angle theta and so I would take the magnitude of that for that displacement the magnitude of the force and the angle between them so you get the greatest work when these two are in the same direction uh, then if you want, you could do this as the dot product, uh, work equals F dot delta R, all right? That is the, the magnet, that's the same definition as the dot product, but if you write these as vectors, which this book doesn't seem to be using, you could write it that way. Uh, and then finally, if you had a non-constant force or a non-constant path, you'd actually have to write this as a line integral from point one to point two of F dot dr. I don't think this is a calc-based book, uh, but you know, they, this is funny right here. They didn't even write this as an equation. They just they just set it out. Uh, and then he gives the example of digging a ditch. Uh, a ton of earth is thrown to an average height of six feet. The work done is two thousand. Oh, two thousand is the, the the force, right? It's the weight of the ton. It's two thousand. Is that right? Two thousand. And then so two thousand times two thousand pounds times six feet is 12,000 foot-pounds, which is a unit of energy. Um, so here they say that the, the direction of the force is important. The, for instance, raising a barrel into a wagon, the work done is the same whether the barrel is lifted directly from the ground or rolled up an incline. That's true, uh, but, but why isn't so, so trivial, right? Uh, if I have, so they're saying this, if I, if I move a barrel this way over a greater distance, or if I just take that same barrel and lift it straight up, it's the same amount of work. And that's because uh, this is the same as the component of force in the, of, of, that you'd have to push in the direction of motion here uh, because of the angles. I, I don't want to get into that too much. But again, they just say it in words. They don't really do it uh, as an equation, which is kind of, maybe it's harder to write equations. When a body yields a force, yields to force, work is said to be done by the force upon or upon the body. But when a body is moving is retarded by some resistance force, then the work is done by, okay, so that just says, if you push on something, you do work on it, but if it pushes on you, it does work, I guess. That's kind of weird. I mean, in what we would do now, what I would do is be careful to define my system, right? What is my system? Am I, am I talking about this group of blocks? Am I doing work on the system or, or what? And you can have negative work. I think it'd be better to think of it that way. 
It is remarkable that although force and distance are both vector, although well, they do have vector quantities, work is their product which is not a vector quantity. Okay, motion is essential to work. You have to have a displacement. Okay, that's good. And then they come down here to uh, rate of working or horsepower. Uh, so they're just talking about power. So normally we would say uh, power is the, the rate of change of work over time um, or energy. But they didn't make that connection between work and energy yet. But it's kind of weird that they get into power before getting into energy. Uh, power measured in the number of grams that power... This is funny, right? They switch between grams and pounds. Um, that's, that's interesting. Power, I wonder when like Europe switched over to metric system. Power may be measured in the number of grams of weight that of weight, grams of weight that can be raised one centimeter per second. Or by the number of pounds that can be raised one foot per second. But the unit of power that's I don't know why they're doing that. They're saying you could do grams per centimeter per second or foot pounds per second. But the unit of power by James Watt is the horsepower, or the watt. <laughs> One horsepower is 550 foot-pounds, or 3,300 foot-pounds per, per second or per minute. Okay. That's funny they don't use the energy of watts, which is one joule per second. Um, okay, now they get to energy. Uh, and they give an example of horsepower right there. Uh, so, work that a body upon which work is done acquires thereby the capacity to do equal amount of work in its original state. The capacity, you see this line all the time, the capacity to do work is called energy. And then they define work as this, this force dot displacement. That's fine. Uh, but a lot of times people def define energy as something to do with work. So it's kind of a circular definition. Uh, so work is done when a spring is bent and the spring acquires energy, which is then measured by the work it can do as it goes. So, so you're saying if you if you do something and change its state by amount of work, then that's its change in energy. So this is really saying the work energy principle, uh, which is this. The work on a system is its change in energy. That's really important. Uh, but they didn't, again, I, I think this would really help to have an equation. Okay, kinds of energy. Uh, there, the rel energy depends on the relative positions of the bodies or parts of bodies between which there exist stresses. So that, that seems to imply like a spring potential energy. There's another form of energy which depends not upon stress but upon the motion of the matter. So I guess that would be kinetic energy. Suppose a weight is raised and set free and allowed to fall with nothing to resist it. The force of the Earth's attraction is exerted on the mass that falls and work is done and energy expended. I don't like that, expended. But in this case, the work is all spent giving velocity to the falling mass. I think they're doing the basic, if you drop a ball, the ball increases in velocity. So, and since you know, an increase in velocity has to be an increase in energy, gravity has to do work. Uh, the energy which a body or system of bodies has in virtue of position or configuration is called potential energy. The energy which a body has in consequence of it. So they're defining potential energy in general. Uh, they're saying you... Now, this is one thing. You know, since if I have two objects interacting with a force and I move them, then, then you could say that I have to take do work to move these. But I, it's, it's adding potential energy to the system of the two. You can't have one thing have a, have a potential because forces come in pairs. So it has to have two objects, at least have two objects for there to be a potential energy. Uh, so you can't have gravitational potential energy of just the ball. It technically be of the ball and the earth. Uh, but they say here, a body or system of bodies. Okay. So, you know, for grab near the surface of the earth, we would say that's just MGY. And then they define kinetic energy as one half MV squared. Now, one of the things that's, I think, super important is this idea of change in energy. Work deals with the change in energy, not the energy. Uh, work is not kinetic energy. Work is the change in kinetic energy. And they never really mention that as far as I see. Okay, so here they have an example. 
uh, work against friction. There's one case, however, in which work done upon a body does not seem to increase its energy or do work. When a weight is pushed from one point to another in the level table, force has to be exerted to overcome friction. True. The weight, however, remains at the same level above the earth and has no more power, no more power. That's, that's not right. To do work in the new position than it had before. So they're saying if you push a block on a table uh, and it ends up at a new place, it doesn't really change its ability to do work. It doesn't have any more energy. But investigation has shown that whenever work is done against friction, heat is developed. Okay, so it does heat up. Huh, investigation. That's funny. Uh, also that when work is obtained from a heat engine, a precisely corresponding amount of heat disappears. Therefore, concluded that the work in which seems to be lost in friction is not really lost or annihilated, but is transformed into heat as another form of energy. Okay, I like that. Okay, here's another example. Um, forms of energy. Energy of masses, kinetic, elastic, gravitational, sound, huh, both kinetic and that's strange, energy of molecules and atoms, heat, molecular and atomic energy, chemical action, huh, I like that, energy of ether, I guess they're talking about the light, energy of light, right, electric and magnetic phenomena, light and radiation, okay, but they, they it's funny that they still use this, this is in 1935, so Einstein's, and Michelson Morley, a lot of people did experiments before this to show that uh, light does not travel through the ether. Uh, that's, that's strange. Oh, here we go. Conservation of energy. Now we're getting to some good stuff. Varied forms of energy, careful measurements of the transformation from one to the other have led to the enunciation of great principle or law known as conservation of energy. In, in, this is in italic, so I have to read it. In any system of bodies which neither receives energy from within, without nor gives up any, the total amount of energy is unchanged. Okay, that's good. That's a, that's that just says uh, if the work is zero, delta E is zero. So they did talk about change there. Okay, then they talk about friction, and they kind of go on, and the more friction stuff, which I wanted to just focus on the energy principle of work applied from conservation of energy. Work done by a machine must equal the work done upon it. Okay, so what they're doing here is they're saying um, they're getting into simple machines. And simple machines are all about work. So they go, you know, this is in 1935, so simple machines were a big deal. Uh, so the inclined plane, the key idea is that you decrease the amount of force that you put in, but increase the distance. And so, but you end up doing the same amount of work, and that's what a simple machine does for all these cases. Um, okay. Okay, well maybe I'll look at another part. You know, at some point I want to go over here to the end and look at the uh, the advanced topics and see what they say about that. Uh, since this, this will be much newer in terms of this book, but there's another look at this book. If you really like that, let me know. I'm, I'll probably find some other books too. Talk to you guys later.